I mention the word lung cancer and people are like, you're still alive. You better believe she is. Linda Wartman is a five-year lung cancer survivor. Even though she never smoked, 20 years of exposure to secondhand smoke as a flight attendant is suspect number one for her illness. Nice to How meet you. you. <laughs> Former NFL player Chris Draft understands Linda's struggle all too well. At 37 years old, Draft's wife Keisha, also a non-smoker, died of lung cancer just a year after her diagnosis. He's dedicated his foundation to continuing her fight to educate others. Lung cancer is the biggest cancer killer. Lung cancer kills more than breast, prostate, colon, liver, kidney, melanoma combined. Well, that's really what we're doing in this national campaign to change the face of lung cancer is that we set out to understand the state of lung cancer and the hope of lung cancer. Those pieces of hope uh, continue to evolve and innovations continue to to uh, appear. Mayo Clinic thoracic surgeon Dr. Stephen Cassifee is another one of Linda's heroes. Dr. Cassifee says even though it's frustrating only 15 to 20 percent of lung cancer patients survive beyond five years, Linda is proof that advances in early detection, surgical techniques, and treatment options make a difference. But she shows us what can be achieved at the best of situations. Linda's follow-up care at Mayo Clinic includes complementary therapies like acupuncture, which she says help preserve her quality of life and can-do attitude. So, when the NFL recently invited cancer survivors to every game, it's no wonder it was Linda representing her Minnesota Vikings at the Metrodome. Linda ran high to the nosebleed seats with a message. You can go to the top stairs of any dome and look down and watch that game, and you feel like a champ. This was running with our U.S. Navy. It continues back on the ground. Coming up on my fifth year of survivorship, I decided I was going to run a 5K race in every state. 15 states so far, and thankfully, no finish in sight. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.